this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to recruit using Instagram. This is a training designed specifically for network marketers. I'm going to go over this entire process for you from zero all the way to step 10, <laughs> from A to Z, exactly what you need to do to start finding people that are actually interested in your products and services, how to naturally approach them, and how to actually get them to want to buy your thing that you're doing. Okay, so let's jump into the very first step here, which is finding the blend. Okay, your blend that you want to find is your passion and your network marketing product. Okay, for me, I really like soccer. And say you, uh, in this example, this is all just hypothetical, you sell protein, okay, health and wellness products, it could be even like digestive things, it could be anything for health and wellness it could contribute it to soccer. And then you just want to blend the two together and be like, okay, I love soccer. I could talk about soccer. I post a lot about me playing soccer. And then I also have this, this opportunity on the other side here, these products that I want to promote. Let's blend them together and we can do our target market, so to speak, is going to be soccer players and I'm going to be helping them get stronger. Okay. That leads me then to the who. Okay. If you've been following me for a while, I, I talk about this all the time of who is the person that you want to help? Who is your target market? So for me, I would say, hey, I'm in Utah. I would say my target market is going to be soccer players in Utah and soccer players that want to get stronger. They want to get faster. They want to, you know, be more fit so they can be better at soccer. I would ask my questions this, what hashtags do they follow? Obviously, they're going to follow soccer, maybe soccer training. Another question to ask yourself is what influencers do your target market follow? Okay. So would they probably follow soccer players like Cristiano Ronaldo, a local team here in Utah is Real Salt Lake. So we can go over here to Instagram. We can go to the search. And you can see here, I already was looking at this before. I can go here to Real Salt Lake and look, I have 135,000 followers here that I could consider quote unquote leads or prospects. I could go if I wanted to and follow these people and start conversations with them. And uh, that's one way to do it. The problem with that is it's very time consuming. It can take a lot of effort and you could be on your phone like all day long, but just know like these are people that you could friend. You can also go in here and you can see who is liking the post. You know that these people are active. You know that they are liking soccer, but you just don't know if they're going to be interested in supplements. Maybe they don't play, but they just like watching soccer. Okay. So there's different levels of people as far as the quality of the lead. Okay. Also, you could go to Cristiano Ronaldo here and you could see here there's 621 million people that follow him. And you can then go also and do the exact same thing. Say, Hey, like there's 7 million people that like, Oh, you know, obviously Lewis Howells is not going to be <laughs> my prospect, but I could go in here and see if there's other people here in my pros that are my prospects. Okay. Now, again, this is very time consuming. The goal here is really just to find like, Hey, what problems do these people have? What issues are they having? What do they love about soccer? What do they hate about soccer? Another thing you can do is go in and search for hashtags. So obviously you could do soccer, but to get more qualified leads, we could do a better one of like soccer training. Okay. I now have these people that have used the hashtag soccer training, or they talk about soccer training in here. And look at that. What is that on his back? Some kind of eight thing. <laughs> Who knows? But people that like this are going to be interested in soccer training, or I can even just go into a hashtag here and I can follow this hashtag. And this will now give me exercises of, of, of content that I can put out there, which then leads us on to the next stage of the recruiting online, which is, oh, what I forgot about was like, when you're out there, go and comment on the post of the people that have already congregated your people. So if I go into Real Salt Lake and I click on here, Oh, it's good to have you back, Pablo Ruiz. So if I really you know, follow Real Salt Lake, I would probably know that he was injured or something like that. I don't really follow Real Salt Lake that super close. But if I did, I would go in here and just say, hey, like, this is great. Great news. I love to hear it. Can't wait for the season to start. I'd post that. Now, what's cool is, you know, this is 
basically promoting me since I do pay for the little blue thing. It's going to put me at the top. People will then click on my link if they like what I'm posting here. Uh, this is what Gary Vee talks about, putting in your two cents. Do this 100 times a day. But you can see here, one of my most recent posts was about me playing soccer. So then they can go in here and they'll be like, oh, what is this? And then they start reading and then maybe they'll follow me and they'll go to my profile, which is the next thing that I recommend is optimizing your profile. So make sure you have a good picture of you. Look at me. I do look at your username. Like if I was really trying to attract soccer players and in general, like my Instagram is not searchable very well. I just have Cody Dean and I just have the Cody. And like, that doesn't mean anything except for people know me uh, as far as my followers just know me as the Cody. Okay. But if I really wanted to optimize this, maybe I will change out my username and even my profile name here. I would do like soccer Cody or Cody, the soccer God or Cody, you know, something that has soccer in it, soccer training with Cody, soccer success with Cody, something like that, because people will see that and be like, oh, he talks about soccer and success. I love soccer. And the reason why I'm trying to attract soccer players is because I can make a ton of content about me doing soccer and I love soccer. Uh, but then also I know soccer players will probably want be ones that are taking supplements. So it's a natural progression to get them over there. Okay. So you'll want to optimize your profile. One thing also you want to do is I help in your bio put, I help this person do this thing. I help them build muscle and take their game to the next level. I could even say I provide the best supplements for soccer players, get even more niche. You're like, oh, they provide supplements. I, I take supplements. I wonder which ones that they recommend. After you do your bio, you want to do what's called a call to action, which then leads them to your profile. Okay. So you can see here, my, my bio is do a passive income checklist. So I do, Hey, I help people with creating passive income online. I've helped hundreds create six figures and I can give you a free checklist, a free passive income checklist. Just use that. Okay. So you could do, if I was doing soccer players, get my five best exercises for soccer players or the five top supplements that every soccer player should use. Right. And then just list out five supplements from your company of you know, like, Hey, number one, you need protein because after your games, you're going to be weak. You're going to be tired. Your muscles are going to be fatigued. You need to build them back up with protein. And this protein is amazing. I recommend it because of X, Y, Z, and it's, it's going to do this, this, and this for you. It's going to help solve this problem. And then they'll buy it through your link because they like you, they trust you. They know that you like soccer too. And it naturally leads them to want to, to purchase from you. Okay. So I do recommend using a stand store for this. This is the exact same thing that I use right here. You can actually click the link down below, get a 14 day free trial to my stand store. You can see here, you can create a free stand store clicking on this link and you can get to try it out. It's basically an all in one place to sell digital products, landing pages, funnels, book on your calendar. So I do recommend that if you want to start having people asking you and qualifying themselves, because you can create a lead magnet that says, here are the five best supplements for you to be using as a soccer player. And then they'll go through and they'll download it. And then they can, they can buy through your link. I do recommend also setting up an email follow-up, but that is going to be more for another day. So make sure you uh, like, and you subscribe to the channel so you can get those. Okay. So after you've basically, you've found out who your target market is, you are commenting and finding out where they're at. You've optimized your profile. Now it's time for you to start creating content. So what you want to do is you want to go find posts that are currently doing well. So you can see, I can go to Real Salt Lake, or I can go to the soccer training that we did before. And I can see, okay, who is currently a uh, top dog in the, the training like this one here, it's got 197 and it's just a simple like exercise of like, Hey, here's an exercise that you can do for your soccer and football training and skills. Okay. Very easy thing to do. And you can go teach other people how to do this drill as well. Again, if you are in the trenches of soccer, then you would know and just video yourself doing it. Okay. But so you can go and make the same kind of content, use these, copy these hashtags, go down again, take videos of what you're doing and the drills you're doing. That's if you're going to be targeting training soccer players, right? If I was trying to target something else, you know, just find that hashtag and follow it as well. You can also follow influencers and see which ones are doing um, what, how their posts are doing. So for example, 
Cristiano Ronaldo. You can go to the reels and you can see, okay, this one's got 52.9. This one has 110. That one's like double everything else. Why is this one doing better? Oh, it's because, oh, oh, what's he doing? Got a, It's got a nice payoff at the end oh, and he's got a beautiful shot. So it can see why that one <laughs> gets a lot of views, right? Because you know what's coming. You're just waiting for that video to, to go through. So you can make a video of you shooting a soccer ball or something as well. So what they're doing, leave commentary about Real Salt Lake. So I could say, hey, did you hear that Real Salt Lake had this person? If you love soccer, make sure you check out my five best supplements ebook down below. Kind of a thing. Like it's just real to make content that adds value to people's life. If you do need help with coming up with content ideas, one way you can do this is going to answerthepublic.com and just type in soccer or your keyword and click search. And it will give you a ton of questions, prepositions, comparisons, and alphabetical and related topics that people are searching for currently on the interwebs. And then you can go and use those as ideas to get you going. So I'm going to pause this while it loads. Why it's loading, you can see here who soccer, yeah, who saw. <laughs> Which soccer league is the best? Which soccer player has the most trophies? Which soccer player died recently? Which soccer player has the most goals? So soccer in itself, maybe I would do soccer workouts because again, I'm trying to target people that are in soccer, but that want to get better at soccer, not just interested in the sport. Okay, so I switched it to soccer workout. So does soccer workout relay? Can I work out after playing soccer? Is it good workout before a soccer game? Is soccer a full body workout? What soccer drills to do by yourself? So that's a good one right here. So I would make a video about what are the best soccer drills to do by yourself if you want to get faster, stronger, and more muscular. And then give them three or four exercises and then say, hey, by the way, I do recommend everyone take supplements when they're doing soccer because it's going to make your results 10 times more effective. So check out my five, you know, lead book my lead magnet. Okay. You see how that all just flows naturally of you solving a problem, you're providing value, and then you lead them to a lead magnet. Okay. If you want more help with this, come join the five day digital recruiting challenge, which I'll give you even more in depth detail of how to to actually attract people, how to create content that will actually attract these people, how to create a funnel and a lead magnet, everything that you need more in depth of what we just talked about. So that way people are DMing you every single day of saying, Hey, can you tell me more, more about that? Or they're even just buying your, your products on autopilot because you've provided that lead magnet for them. You've provided it in a crystal clear manner of helping them solve their problem. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Make sure you like and subscribe and go and join the five-day digital recruiting challenge right now. It's down below in the link.